Hello everyone, let's start with exercise 2.3, question number 2. So it says find the zeros of the following polynomials by factorization method and verify the relation between zeros and coefficients of the polynomial. So in this case, it is given that 3x squared plus 4x minus 4. So first of all, what we need to do is, we need to put fx equals 0. Now we need to split the middle term here. So how to do this? We need to take a and c. So we have 3 into 4 that is 12. Now we need to split such that that they make 4x. So I can write 12 as 6 and 2. So it can be written as 3x squared plus 6x minus 2x minus 4 equals 0. Now you can see that 6x minus 2x makes 4x. So that's how we need to split the middle term. Now what we need to do next is we need to take common from the first two terms and the last two terms. So what we can take from first two terms is 3x. The first term will be x then the plus 2. Then we have to take common from the last two terms it will be minus 2. So we are left with x plus 2 equals 0. So here we have two values of x that is 3x minus 2 and x plus 2 equals 0. So x from the first value we will get is 2 over 3 and from the second we get is minus 2. So x minus 2 and x equals 2 over 3. So these are my alpha and beta. So in this case I will be taking alpha as 2 over 3 and beta as minus 2. Now for the verification part what we need to do is we need to find sum of the roots that is alpha plus beta. So alpha plus beta is 2 over 3 plus minus 2 equal 3 to minus 4. So it will be minus 2 over 3. Sorry it will be 6 and this will be minus 4 over 3. Now we need to find with respect to minus b over a. So using the equation we have b in this case is 4 and a in this case is 3. So it will be minus b is 4 and a is 3. So you can see that this term is equivalent to this term. So sum of zeros are verified here. Now what we need to do is we need to find product of zeros that is alpha dot beta. Alpha dot beta is 2 into 3 into minus 2. It equals minus 4 over 3. Now what we need to do is we need to find with respect to formula. So it will be c over a. So c in this case is c is minus 4 and a is 3. So minus 4 over 3. Now you can see that the values from both, e both equations are same. Therefore we can say that left hand side equals right hand side and hence verified for this part. So that's your solution for question number 2. Thank you for watching this video.